All right, so big day. We've got a kitchen going in at the Cardwell Project. We're here to get our appliances. Uh, we don't like to leave those out on site, so we deliver those day of. But uh, it's a lot of coordination into these kitchens. Everything has to be down to the T. So I'm here to get the appliances. We're gonna go out there, we're gonna check out what's going on and get them lined out. Okay, so we're starting that kitchen out there for Kelly, um, for the Cardwell project. And we're looking for a 39 inch drawer door combo and a grill and a refrigerator. Wish all this was organized, but at this point we need to get just those two items out there. I mean, that one's not gonna be installed for a week. Oh, really? Yeah, so, I mean, if you got some tightness in the schedule, you can hold off on this. Okay. We got broken into last week. Somebody climbed in through a hole, I think I see it, and tried to break in one of our trailers. And you know what's crappy about this, and this is the stuff that nobody really talks about, is whenever you have nice things, um, obviously people try to take them, but you know this is not the highlight of owning a business. The, the highlight is always the, you know, the wins and the, the the high fives and stuff. But this is the type of times that you really hate and you really um, despise. Okay, so I think I see the hole right there. Piece of crap. It's definitely too big for Mr. Jangles. We've got some work to do. Here's the damage. That's about a $150 repair. It's just weird how thieves think. I mean, for a long time it was copper, but now like we had three Cadillac converters stolen off our trucks last week, which is just really pathetic because, I mean, it's probably worth a hundredth of what it costs us to replace those. So it's not fun, but it's part of business. All right, so we're here. We're gonna start this kitchen. I got Marcelino out here, appliances on their way. And the main posts and beams are up. And so that's the main structure. The brick is gonna go around the posts. And we got a big wraparound kitchen. So let's go get them rolling. What's up, amigo? Okay, so you're five, you're five inches out on each side? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, How are you? Good, good. Busy, man. Let me show you the little bit of the plan. So we got all four columns, brick, and is this, does this concrete slope this way? Yeah, that way. Okay, so yeah, just do this one 36 and then make all, all those. Yeah, this one and that one is 36 and that one 39 and 39. Okay, yeah. that'll work. So you may notice some steel poles. This is not normal for us. If you look at the rendering, we have a special wide post going in here, and so we have to basically build these, and you can't just like buy cedar posts that look all decorative. So to meet code, we have to have a supportive post. So this is the inside, and we're gonna basically build a veneer all the way around this that will showcase the look that we're wanting. So the, the post will essentially be hollow inside, but the support is here, which will pass code. These are bolted down with tap cons, and so that's what secures that at the bottom. And then we do the same at the top. You know, something I, something I really like doing whenever it rains after a big concrete pour is I'll always go out here and really look at how it turned out and I'll look at if there's any standing water. You know, there's so much lessons to learn and the things that you don't think about and the things that you don't know. For example, you finish a project and you're long gone, customer has the project in their hands, you've turned it over, you think everything went great, but are you really learning a lesson at that point on the mistakes you made? If you get lucky, the customer says something to you. Sometimes it's a bad review. It's a 
it's a complaint. You obviously know about it then, but are you really looking for that feedback? I know the good, the good contractors, the good CEOs, the good, well, just anybody at your job, you are looking for that feedback. And I can promise you that feedback is there if you're just looking for it or listening. Um, don't brush it under the rug. Look around and see what what can you learn about what you did. I mean, maybe it went great, but I want it to be remarkable, right? I mean, you want your product to stand out from all others. And so it's exactly what I'm doing. I'm looking at the, the concrete, as you can see. job well done guys like this concrete slopes away from the house perfectly I'm seeing some good things it's Monday about 2 30 um, and we're gonna go over the State Fair booth we're gonna have some uh, brainstorming sessions about what we're doing um, got some changes that we're gonna go over and um, these trade shows take a lot of time so what we're gonna do is be prepared as we can be. And really like a lot of work has gone into this months ahead of time. Um, we're definitely no stranger to trade shows. This is probably, we're into the 30s now of how many trade shows we've done. Um, so it, it gets kind of fun to, it's like knowing the answers to the test. Um, but you can never be too prepared. And every time we do something, we learn from it, but we also, um, test things as well so we have a lot to talk about today we're going to actually go over a lot of strategies a lot of trade secret strategies and um, that's the fun part for me is because um, take a lot of pride in what we do here and uh, so we're uh, going to bring the wow factor this year this is going to be a huge huge opportunity and a huge way to really flex our muscles and show what we can do and I'm excited to show you all. We'll have a 3D rendering and we'll give you some uh, sneak peek of what we're going to do. But now they, she added an aisle here. And so what she did was she put us across from each other, which I'm okay. But now she gave us this 20 foot for free. So now this is all an island. She has this as PMH and this is Petty Galaxy, but I'm going to make this PMH okay. and I'm going to put the fireplace right there because it backs up to someone else's booth right. you know that fireplace is kind of like a backdrop wall you can't really walk through right this one is going to go um kind of like up high on the pavilion and the idea on that is to have our logo just it's just a logo thing on the pmh side on the pmh side this is the wow factor I mean, that's the only thing that I'm willing to do is, is something that wows somebody. So what I would like to do, Jonathan, is let's get the 3D renderings, you know, now that you know the changes. Yeah. And um, if you can try to make that hot tub the same shape, I mean, you could probably import the 3D models and just not even have to build them, right? That that was what um, we we're trying to find the, the well, actual the, 3D models. Well, right? the the models that we have, the ones that we've all we uploaded to uh, uh, PetterGalaxy.com, aren't the style of 3D models that he needs to be able to add to. Yeah, they're just they're just different straight up images. Like, are we doing are we doing full a full pearl or anything on top? No, it's just, so it's it, just right so literally it's just the beams, um, you know. So if you have a post, you know, right here, it's just gonna basically sit on top of the beams. I think there's, so the, the whole point of that is to mount stuff to, yeah, because, I, cause I, cause I needed to mount this thing right here. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, everything has, you have to do it all if you do one. Right. And um, the only difference now is this is open. So these hot tubs that are right here, mm -hmm. which I like, um, now they can see them from the up, from the bottom and the top. Because that was my whole goal was to, see, to get hot tubs in here that they can either go down into or stand up next to sure. and get 
like uh, very scalable feelings of what it's going to look like and feel like. That's about all the time I have before I need to get with John on a couple things. So, do you have any? I'm good. Cool. All right, so you just saw some of the behind the scenes stuff for the state fair. I'm really excited about it. Um, we're not gonna tell you obviously everything. We have some surprises. We're gonna do some time lapses of our booth. So just wait until you see it. We'll actually discuss it a little bit more over the next few weeks. We actually have some renderings as well that we'll throw in there, but there are some surprises and I can't wait to show you guys. So we'll see you in next week's vlog.